when you're able to, to see the conversations and understand what happens with them, um, it really creates a tremendous amount of value. So the other thing is, is being able to see how conversations get shared. So you're not just looking one-dimensionally at it to see, okay, well, this comment got posted in a forum and it had this many replies, therefore it must have been very um, valuable or must have resonated with users, but the ability to also see on the back end um, how conversations get shared, because sometimes they do get shared even if they're not commented on. Dan had also mentioned the different levels of engagement before from users, and there are plenty of users who you know, are there and are valuable, um, but may not be sort of expressing themselves through comments, but may want to be sharing these conversations with friends. And so again, being able to see that on the back end with the Ripple 6 platform is a value. And then the other piece is, you know, with groups, um, uh, using groups uh, in different ways and saying you had mentioned insights before as well. And um, that's just uh, of, of great value to, to us as a publisher and I think to marketers as well. And just being able to essentially use the, the natural home that a user has on, you know, whatever social networking site they choose. In our case, like moms with moms like me, just being able to, to create a group um, around a brand, say, to generate insights the way you might with a um, traditional, um, sort of survey type community, where you're doing it in the, the natural environment for the user, and again, you're getting analytics on the back end. For us, it's a very easy, as a publisher, it's very easy to execute, and it's just a great incremental revenue stream that you get with really very little effort from the publishers. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I could explain more how that works afterwards, but it's it just seemed like a very natural fit. It's uh, for most publishers, it's a revenue stream that you're not tapping into today. It's a $26 billion market, and the, um, you know, the, from the, uh, the marketers of the world, they, you know, the ability to go and do research in a real existing social environment that people are visiting every day is something that's very exciting to them. And I think, um, is Susan Dedeker and, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, Kim Dedeker and Donna, Donna Goldfarb, uh, heads of research at Procter & Gamble and Unilever recently talked about, you know, the future of market research is, is, is going to be in social media.